हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ दीपक कुमार अ ग्रेजुएट ऑफ सिंध मेडिकल कॉलेज जिना सिंध मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई विल बी एड्रेसिंग अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग यू एस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज़ यू एस लाइक व्हाट आर व्हाट इज़ इट इट इज़ बेसिकली अ लाइसेंसिंग एग्जाम्स देर आर थ्री एग्जाम्स देर इज़ यू एस स्टेप वन स्टेप टू एंड स्टेप थ्री so for being licensed you need usml step 1 and step 2 so for like uh, how how do you apply for the exam so basically you you need a passport because it is an international exam and when you have your passport you go to the iwa ecfmg website there you have to request an id and when you get your id then you can access the portal and there you can start your application for the exam so you can give usml step 1 or usml step 2 in any order but for getting complete licensure you have to give usml step 1 and step 2 both so Uh, how do we prepare for the exams and what resources are needed so i would say like uh, if you are a medical student and you are studying in your basic science years like you are in your uh, med school year 1 and med school year 2 so this is really good time to start uh, by studying the pathoma and first aid and along with these you have to study your basic Uh, subject books like good for anatomy and biochemistry and physiology so when you are uh, like doing these things side by side you can uh, take a q bank like i use u world and emboss so i would say u world is really a great q bank it it makes your concepts it clears a lot for you and it also uh, makes you manage your time well as this exam is really long so you go in the morning and you are there for 6 to 8 hours it is like seven blocks uh, each block contains 40 questions and you get one hour for the block so you have to manage your time effectively so for doing this you need a great q bank and i think u world is such a good q bank and apart from u world there is an emboss so emboss questions are also good so if you want to use you can use them both or you can use either of them both are great q banks so uh, how how much time you can give to each exam so it merely depends on each person like how are you managing your time how are you studying most of the people take the exam in 6 to 8 months and if you are an undergrad student who is like studying for the uh, for subjects for modules for university so you can do side by side and whenever you are ready you can take your exam i started studying first aid in third year and i bought my u world in fourth year and i take took my exam in my final year so it took me apparently it took me 3 years but uh, if you can manage your time more efficiently you can take your exam by fourth year of med school and then you can start studying your usmle step 2 so for usml step 2 again you have to use your q bank and uh, uh, you will get to know the concepts like uh, how is the exam what concepts are being tested and what are your weaknesses so in this exam you must work on your weaknesses because when you do not work on your weaknesses so you panic in your exam so try to overcome these challenges and just do not ignore your weaknesses because on the day of the exam these weaknesses will show up and you will panic in the exam so do not uh, take this to that point in the end i would suggest that you must study for being a good physician and do not take your basic science here so lightly like i feel you will never get time to study your basic science again in your academic career and keep taking small steps because every step you make to your journey counts 
सो थैंक यू सो मच